So here's a trail to Rock Pool. Down this way, of course, we're greeted by our oaks, wild grasses. There's a little dying guy. We're going to find some willows, mugworts, wild rhubarb, a couple bunny rabbits, maybe, along the way. So on the trail to Rock Pond, of course, we have our oaks. We're going to come across this plant. This guy's called a coffee berry. You recognize him by his lance-shaped leaves here. They're green on the top side, and they're a light green on the bottom. And they got these things called coffee berries. And here, this is called an elderberry, this plant here. And it has these... Uh, little berries here. They're coated with a little white powder. And if you get it wet, you can uh, pull off the powder and you can eat these guys. And they taste pretty good. A lot of people don't like them though. They're a little sour. But here's a trail to Rock Pond. Here we have a spotted towhee. He's formerly known as a rufous-sided towhee, but the scientists changed their name to the spotted towhee. Right here. There's a bunch of them out here. Take a look at this beautiful coast live oak tree. It's a Quercus agrifolia. Look at this. It's all like just mangly branched out like that. Fantastic. So to tell how old this tree is, you take the diameter, you multiply it by about four or five. This is about four and a half feet times five. This tree is probably, I don't know, 250 years old. Wow. This is a beautiful tree. So along the trail, you'll find our California buckwheat. Okay, cowdy bush. Sometimes people call it cowdy brush. Over here, though, I'm going to show you some poison oak. So watch out for this guy here. Okay, this is a poison oak. It grows like a vine. We've got the leaves here. All right, watch out for that. And you really know it's poison oak when it starts to purple like this. So don't be messing in this stuff. Stay on the trail. Here we have a pinacate beetle. It comes from an Aztec word, pinacatol which means little black beetle. So he's a, they, people call him a stink bug. All right, and I'm not sure he's gonna stink. This one here is probably a female. She's pretty big and she's cruising around trying to find a place to lay her eggs, but she wants to, I'm not gonna do it right here. She'll probably have to do it out there. It's our pinacate beetle. Now here's a type of holly shrub we get out here as well we got these little berries okay we got these leaves here serrated edges kind of dark on the top and light on the bottom great ridge lines on this little leaf now don't eat the berries let that uh, leave that for the birds now check out this giant shrub. This is a willow from the genus Salix. This is an arroyo willow. It's got these great leaves here, right? It's um, kind of dark on the top and really light on the bottom. So when they shake, and they kind of move in the wind, they kind of wave at you. And he likes to grow along the creek sides, and here's a creek down here. It's called an arroyo, which is a dry creek, and that's where these guys like to grow. Arroyo willow. So here's what the rhubarb looks like in our creek bed. Kind of grows, a little tougher looking then along the roadside. Big plant here. So 
So this little orange flower you find up here, this is a California fuchsia, Epilobium canum, right? He's a type of willow herb. He likes to grow in the chaparral, especially in California. He's got uh, these long stalks coming up here, right? These little uh, super fine pinnate leaves. And they work themselves up the stem to get this beautiful, beautiful little fuchsia flower. Right? With the stamen, the anther, this little pollen on the tip there. It's a tubular flower. So he's great for hummingbirds and bees. That's California fuchsia. So along the trail, watch out for all of this poison oak. Anything with that purple leaf, right? Don't be messing with that. Here we have these beautiful, beautiful pine trees. And one of the hard things about this plant is not self-pruning. So the branches will lay pretty low all the time and it's a big fire hazard because these will die off, like here, and they'll hang. And it's a problem out here with forest fires. But these guys are beautiful. So the trail here is not too hard. We have our western sycamore trees. Solid dirt trail up here. We also do some rock climbing. Check out this guy here. Kind of dangling there, but he's all tied off, so he's cool. Hey, we made it to Rock Pond. Here it is. Go swimming down here. No diving, no fires, no smoking, no dogs, no open flames, no alcohol. But you leave your flip-flops here. That's cool. And your socks. And uh, I know it says no jumping, but people jump from these rocks all the time. We got fish out here in the little pond. And we got some uh, ladies over here. Maybe she's going to fall in. So over at Rock Pond, we have our southern cattail, too. Right here. Okay, you'll notice up here, okay, there's two parts to this. We've got an upper part, that's the male part, that's the pollen, and down here, the hot dog part, that's the female part with the ovaries. And the um, inside will fluff up real fluffy-like, and then it'll break apart, and the fluffiness has all the seeds, and they'll blow away in the wind. And it's a very, uh, waterborne plant likes to grow in the mud and also out of the water here's our beautiful great blue heron over at rock pond rock pool now on the rocks all this colorful stuff this orange here little yellow greenish it's all called lichen it's a combination of fungus and algae grows on these rocks and the tiny, tiny roots would sort of help crack away the rock and erode it. Here's some white. Now here we have a cottonwood. It's like an aspen. Kind of flutters in the wind here. These pretty leaves. This is a Fremont's cottonwood. Populus fremontii. Find this in California, up and down these mountains, all along the coast. Wow, it gets real tall. Beautiful, beautiful tree. So you can explore behind the rock pool on these little trails. Lots of rocks and willows and hummingbirds, California towhees, herons. All right, southern cattail. Sycamores. Here we go. It's really nice back here. So if you come in the morning, it's a lot more quieter. But if you come in the afternoon, uh, the uh, day, day guys come down and crowd up our little pool. So you can tell how high the water gets. Here's our creek, 
from Rock Pool. And all this uh, debris washed up on this little tree here, or shrub. It's kind of the high water mark as it flows down the canyon and it gets tangled on these plants here. Some more poison oak. But look how dry it is today. This is still July. Hasn't rained all year in Southern California. So here we got a bunch of Nande parrots up in this tree here. And here we got their little rock climbers here. It's gonna fall in the water. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, and um, I'll talk to you later.